pop smoke. Let's see if we can get this guy. There's a BMP in this cloud of smoke. Let's try to get the edge here. Almost got him. Try one more. Cloud disappearing. Got him. <laughs> oh. That guy's been harassing our team for the last couple of minutes. He's been in our spawn. Great job, War Thunder, for their map design, man. Just a lot of people just spawn campus so easily. Great job. Can't really see anything from this distance. There's just so many buildings. The trees there. An anti-air here. Shit. Got him! Ha, 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 ha. Oh, it's the proxy rounds. I forgot about the Chinese proxy rounds. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another War Thunder video. So my first video of this new patch, and it's of a squadron vehicle, of all things. It's it's not of any of the big new uh, patch vehicles. <laughs> and that's because those vehicles just aren't as interesting to me personally as this one is. This is the A4E early. This is part of the squadron vehicle lineup you can find here, along with all these all these other ones. Um, it's 6,800 gold if you want to buy it right away, or it's probably going to take you a couple of months to uh, to get it through the squadron vehicle uh, system. It's it's a good plane for for what I'm looking for, and that is a bullpup carrying machine. What I've been looking for is a is an alternative to the FJ-4B. The FJ-4B is an old squadron, or excuse me, it's an old event vehicle. The problem with it is it's just not something that everyone can use. Because it's, a, it's an old event, and the only way to get it now is to buy it on the market, and not everyone has access to the market. There are certain countries that don't have access to it, and of course there are the console players who can't access it. So, I've been wanting something to help counter things for, you know, facing the G91s and the those pesky Germans and their G91s, man. They're just dominating things. And so this carries five bullpups, just like the FJ-4B, but it also has an assortment of other options, including uh, Mighty Mice, Rockets, Bombs, Zunis. You can get um, A9Bs for air-to-air -air missiles. It's, it's a really interesting assortment. Also have the AGM 12C bullpups, which are basically much larger bullpups. You can only carry two of them. These are absolutely enormous. Um, <laughs> they are ridiculously large when you fire them. And you don't even have to get all that close to your enemy target. The problem with them is you only get two, and I do not recommend them simply because of the travel time between the battlefield and your airstrip is just too much. In my opinion, I think you're better off sticking with the A9Bs, which we have five of, and just using those. They are perfectly adequate for just about any vehicle you will encounter on the battlefield. They're just excellent. And one of the best things about the bull pups, at least for the uh, A4E early, oops, excuse me, is it's a tier one modification. So if, if you're interested in this for anti-tank purposes, it's a it's a pretty easy uh, and early unlock for you. And this also, by the way, unlocks the AGM-12C bullpup. So if you want that, you, you can just get this. Um, personally, I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't recommend using that. You also have um, Mighty Mice and Zunis, various bomb options. I do not recommend these because of the power of AA at this tier is too good and you do not get a ballistic computer. So you have to get very close with your with your bombs, with your, with your aircraft in order to accurately drop the bombs, and you're just gonna end up getting shredded most of the time, in my, in, at least in my experience, by the Kapards, the uh, Shilkas, the uh, ZSU-57s, whatever, whatever is out there. Plus you got the airplanes to deal with, so you wanna get, you wanna keep your distance from the battlefield if you can and that's why I recommend the bullpups. But at the end of the day, it's it's your it's your plane, 
carry whatever ordinance you want. Looks like we got a smoke cloud. Something scouted in there too. Also want to buff him along the wall there. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Got him. Those are terms. Man, the FJs. <laughs> Can you imagine this and the FJs in a in a bunch of battles? I'll imagine a full squadron of these things. Side. Oh, got him. Teammate got the other one. Nice. <laughs> There's one on the road here. Probably should have used my squadron marker. Mark for my teammates, though. There we go. Nice job. I gotta say, the Russians, they're using a lot of BMPs. It's like the Germans use nothing but Leopards, and the Russians use nothing but BMPs and T-54s. T-55s. See what he's marked. You guys see anything? Oh, AA. Hey, hey. Probably a Shilka. He doesn't get behind a, a building. We should be able to get in. Got him. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. Spawn looks empty. AMS just died right next to this this SBA. I don't see what it where it was though. There he is. Down, 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 down. Up, up, up. There. I almost screwed that one up. Thankfully, using an object 906. 